It's being called a medical miracle, technology that restores sight to the blind. And it was developed right here in Southern California. An estimated 100,000 people a year are affected by the genetic disorder, retinitis pigmentosa, that robs people of their sight. But some are getting their vision back thanks to bionic eye implants. Tonight, we introduce you to one local patient who shows us how this technology has changed his life. We take so much for granted. You think uh, you're going you're gonna to see forever until you die. And the way they're going to go blind is their world is going to close in on them slowly until it's completely gone. And then all they can see is black. Turn left and then left again and we've got another ramp. Terry Byland was only 37 years old when he was told by doctors he was going blind. So in November of 1993, the lights went out completely. What was the last thing you saw? It was my five-year-old son, the last time I saw him. <laughs> Sorry. When retinitis pigmentosa robbed the Riverside man of his sight, it also shattered his spirit. I just kind of sat around the house for a couple months and going through all kinds of depression and anxiety and feeling sorry for myself. I had no reason to believe that I would ever see anything, ever. But through the darkness came light. So this is the electrode array that we were talking about earlier. Very fine, delicate plastic uh, device that goes inside the eye. Known as the Argus II, it is the first FDA-approved implanted device to re-establish sight in blind patients. They're given a, uh, an implant, so it's a surgical implant that basically bypasses the dead cells and electrically stimulates the cells that are still alive. Manufactured at Second Sight in Silmar, California, the real-life bionic eyes are reviving perception all over the world. They're still blind with the uh, device until they put on a pair of glasses, and the glasses have a video camera and also provides power to the implant. And so the information from the video glasses sends power and data to the implant. With that, they're able to uh, then see forms again. Yes. Yes. Little by little, I went from seeing like maybe 25% of something to 50, all the way up to like 90 and 95%. This will give you an idea of what the patients are experiencing. And I can see the line you're referring to here. While the Argus II can only partially restore a patient's vision, this father of three can clearly see the medical miracle has given him back so much more. One of the first things that I saw, I think it was in 2006, is my son had three of his friends there, and as they were walking in front of me, I could see like a moving silhouette. That day, I saw my son for the first time in a very, you know, primitive way, but I was seeing something. That day, it really, it really hit me in a very positive way. But it's just so strange to go from total darkness for like basically 10 years to be able to see something. That is incredible. It really is. To date, the Argus II has been successfully implanted in 180 patients around the world. Second Sight is now working on newer models to improve the pixelation of images and to allow patients to see color. Very, very difficult for Terry to sort of let us in emotionally, but he did so, he told me, to sort of provide hope for others who suffer from that's RP. exactly yeah. what you see there is the yeah. hope that you can get and that there yeah. is you know help and yeah. gosh it, just as we come closer and closer years uh, from from now yeah. who knows what can happen this bravo is to you terry for your yeah, candor you. and a remarkable journey incredible